Welcome back, beautiful gut feeders. I greet you. Today we're going to talk about the five best alkalizing foods for your body to reduce the mucus in your body and to help your body heal from chronic disease. This is such an important subject. I got a lot of requests from you, so I'm happy to share my knowledge with you about alkalizing foods today. If you're new to this channel, my name is Peggy Schirmer. Welcome to Gut Feelings. On the channel, we help you to heal your digestion and cleanse your body from toxins but also we show you how to reconnect with your gut feeling so you become more independent from all the outer information all the doctors all the medication you take and you actually reconnect to your inner wisdom you can heal your body naturally and thrive again in your daily life now let's get started with the five most alkalizing foods for your body to reduce the mucus also if you have sinus issues for example and to help your body heal from chronic diseases. Guys, your body's pH level is one of the most important things when it comes to healing from chronic diseases. Disease in general thrives in an acid environment. I mentioned that in several videos, if you eat, for example, a, a diet that is high in animal fats, a lot of grains, a lot of sugar, processed sugar like high corn, fructose syrup, or fried food, processed food, these are all acidic foods. And 95% of all diseases, cancer being the most terrifying one, are thriving in an acid environment in your body. So one of the best things you can do if you want to heal from chronic disease and you want to reduce the mucus and all of this all of this slimy biofilm that you have in your intestines all the junk that is like clinging onto the onto the gut walls there if you want to bring that out the best thing is to focus on eating a more alkaline diet cells can actually repair itself if they are in an alkaline environment now most people's bodies however they are too acidic because of what i mentioned before what we eat but also the toxicity we are exposed to high levels of stress can cause an acidic environment in your body. This is often caused by an, an hormonal, hormonal imbalance. For example, you have too much cortisol, which then triggers a cascade of acidity in the body. Now guys, I tell you how important it really is for your body to keep this pH level stable in your blood. It's so important that the body will do anything to prevent damage from the most vital organs, which are your heart, for example, and your blood vessels and the body will do anything to keep this pH level from your blood stable, which is between 7.35 and 7.4. This means if you eat a diet which is high in acidic foods, your body will still be able or does its best to, to keep the pH level of the blood a little bit alkaline, but it comes at a price. So if you eat a lot of dairy and meat, stuff like that, animal products, then you have a lot of acidity in your body. The body now needs to bring out, needs to balance this out from its own resources. One of the things that the body does if it is in this fight or flight situation, it draws out, for example, calcium from your bones or from your teeth or other minerals from your tissue to protect the vital organs from this damage and to keep the blood pH level stable. So guys, the more acidic foods you eat, you actually deplete your body from nutrients. This is important to know. So if you think about, I need to eat dairy products for the calcium, think again. I also got a video on that if you are still struggling with, with this concept. Check it out, I'll link it below in the description. Now, diet is not the only thing that influences your pH level, as we figured out. It's also stress, it's your emotions. It's it's also how your body is doing right now in your current health situation. So if you have a lot of toxicity in the body, toxicity produces acids. If you are over-exercising, if you are kind of forcing your body too much, that can also create acidity. However, this is marginal in, in comparison to the toxic load or the viral load, the bacterial load from pathogens in your body that are stored up there. So for some people, if they are very healthy, they can tolerate for example, more animal products and dairy and a little bit eating less alkaline food for a while. This will change if they keep going like that. But if you're already chronically struggling, you will feel the difference and the, the impact of eating a high acidic diet very fast. So it's great if you can reduce the stress, if you can balance your emotions, if you can think more happier thoughts, if you can work on your mindset, 
if you can reduce the toxicity in your body and keep the pathogens in check but diet guys it's a major major key player here where it's in a good and easy way to start to alkalize your body and to get rid of the mucus and all of this acidity that can cause chronic diseases in your body i have a question for you would you like me to do a video about the worst foods that you can eat so five most acidic foods and why they are so bad for your health and maybe give you some alternatives for that let me know in the comments below just pause for a second just put yes I want to know about acidic foods or yes acidic foods down there and I know I'm gonna count all your comments and then I'm gonna know if that's something that interests you okay guys so let me know if it's a yes for you so let's dive into the five best foods now in general foods that are very alkalizing for your body are fruits and vegetables it's as easy as that anyway there are five foods that are the most alkalizing from my experience and from my research number one this might shock you or be surprising because it's actually an acidic fruit and that's lemons but there's a difference between acidic fruit and how they are going to be metabolized so although a lemon is very acidic when you squeeze you know you drink it or you have lemon water in the morning it's sour but it's metabolized highly highly alkaline lemons for example when you add them to water fresh lemon drink fresh lemon water in the morning helps to oxygenate the body and optimizes the enzyme production because lemons help the liver to produce natural enzymes that were, what they do it's like massaging the liver a little bit like, and it also helps to purge out toxins that the liver is ready to let go so you feel more so you can have more energy in your day-to-day -day life now the best thing always recommend it's super easy guys make that a ritual if you're not doing celery juice then do lemon water in the morning so i already have my glass when i wake up i have a 16 ounces glass of good filtered alkaline water and then when i wake up i squeeze half or whole lemon into this water and i drink it and before this glass is not empty nothing comes into my stomach with this ritual you will also help your body all the stuff that you eat afterwards during the day to absorb the minerals better to break down foods more easily because it stimulates the enzyme production in your body and also increases your hcl levels guys number one lemon lemon water number two is ginger ginger this root which is a family member of the turmeric root which you might know and ginger is highly alkalizing and i could honestly like just sing a song for ginger because this made such a difference in my life i'm eating ginger every day i can't stop i got like very very good in doing ginger chewing which you might have seen in other videos if not i'm gonna link your video if you want to learn more about ginger in general it's a very alkalizing one of the most alkalizing foods for your body it improves your digestion big big time it's mineral rich anti-inflammatory highly highly anti-inflammatory and it's one of the best painkillers natural painkillers works better than all the medication the artificial painkillers that you can get out there so make sure you get ginger in your daily life one way to do it is the most simple and common one is you can do a lemon water with ginger for example like a tea or what I'm personally doing one of my favorite things that actually I invented are ginger chewing so you look at your thumb and half of the size of your thumb you're gonna eat the peeled ginger like the chunk you, some people want to cut it up but you can also eat just the chunk the, the whole the, the chunk the whole chunk put it in your mouth chew it really quickly like super quick you, you will know why because it's getting spicy super quick and then you just swallow it with some water and that's it first times it's gonna be terrifying do it with a friend so you can laugh um, at each other and then it's gonna be easy you know I do that every day it's also awesome after workout so you have less inflammation in your legs which you're not gonna see now right <laughs> that was my foot um, so great way second most alkalizing food ginger number three are fresh herbs any types of fresh herbs the wilder the better if you can collect them in your garden or get them organic do that any kinds of fresh herbs a parsley oregano is very good a dill cilantro um, basil anything like that they're packed they're really they're packed with disease fighting properties and they are nutrient powerhouses they are so strong vitamin k vitamin c boost your immune system best way to incorporate them is you can sprinkle them over the food 
every meal that I eat with like every hearty meal that I eat there comes some herbs on top and you can just put them in enhances the flavor as well or you can put them in your smoothie in the morning so you make sure you get your herbs in every day number four are sweet potatoes those beautiful little or small tubes which have nothing to do with normal potatoes normal potatoes are also good this is a very different plant it's a plant that grows in warm weather for example here in Panama this is banana tree by the way just straight in front of my window I love bananas fourth one sweet potatoes rich in beta carotenes and also very very soothing and gentle on your digestion help to bring out the uh, the mucus a highly highly alkaline amazing profile of vitamins and nutrients best thing to do is if you cook them you always cook them with the peel you don't want to expose like all the nutrients will be, get lost in the water if you cook them without the peel so peel on or you can bake them in the oven sprinkle some rosemary on top bake them a little bit and then you can also eat them with the peel best way to do it and then I like to eat like a big leafy salad with them and squeeze some fresh lemon over the sweet potato so it's even more filling and dense now guys before we come to the last and this one is really this is my favorite if there's just one food that I love to eat on planet earth this would be it number five um, before we get there, I have a question for you. Please, partic pa please participate and become an active part of the community. What is your favorite alkalizing food? Simple, just pause right now, think for a second. Just what comes to your mind first thing and then put it down in the box and we're gonna see what kind of mix we get from all of you guys. Number five, guys, this food is called from the World Health Organization, the food of the future. World Health Organization, food, food of the future, guys. Melt that. Food of the future. What could it be? I talked about that so much on the channel. So much. Number one healing food when it comes to alkalizing the body, when it comes to strengthening the body, getting rid of mucus and improving your overall health and energy and stamina this is such a this is such the best food if i don't have my mm, i'm gonna get really i'm wanting you know i want where is it where is it i want more of it perfect mix of nutrients as well dense in protein and now i'm gonna tell you what it is it's spirulina it's seaweed it's an algae blue green algae called spirulina and guys this one is you can't get it more dense from nutrient-wise and it contains of its dry weight 60% plant-based protein. Now, guys, what is the most important thing? A lot of, most of the protein-rich foods are actually acidic for the body. They are very acidifying and you don't want to eat too much of it because it feeds diseases and it actually doesn't help your body to produce more muscles or get rid of mucus in your body. It creates it and it puts a burden on your liver and on your adrenals. So you want to focus on eating foods that are alkalizing and one of the best ones is spirulina because it has a protein source and it's alkalizing. Very, very rare in this case. Best way to eat it is I eat it every day, every time, whenever I can, when I see it. Uh, you can sprinkle it over the food and it gives it a very distinct taste, salty, a little bit earthy. If you don't like the taste, you can also just take the tablets. That's completely fine. I like to put it sometimes in my morning smoothie, just one, two teaspoons. Or guys, the best thing, my favorite, my personal favorite here in the warm tropical climate of Panama is spirulina ice cream. Don't tell anyone, this is like so good. You have two frozen bananas and a little bit of coconut water and then you put one tablespoon of spirulina in there, just mix it up. It's delicious. You get potassium and healthy glucose and everything from the banana and you get electrolytes and of course you get all the goodies from the spirulina, alkalizing and also some healthy protein. If you haven't done it already, now is the time to let me know about, let us know about your most alkalizing food that you like, that you maybe eat every day. Just one word down in the comments below. I'm curious to hear. Summary of this video, five most alkalizing foods for your body are lemons, ginger, herbs, all kinds of herbs, sweet potatoes and spirulina. Yes. 
never go any day without spirulina. This is my motto. Maybe I'm gonna create a t-shirt. Bonus tip, one way, a very easy way, not the most accurate, but it works to actually understand how food impacts your pH level, the pH level of your intercellular fluids, which is then represented also in the urine. One best, best simple way is to test your urine in the morning. After at least not eating for six hours, better longer, when you wake up and you went, didn't go to the toilet before, first thing when you go to the toilet you have there are those little pH stripes. I'm gonna link. They are easy to buy. They are on Amazon. I'm gonna link them down below for you. And you just you just dip them in your urine or like midstream you you pee on the on the stripe very easy. And then you can see where you're ranking. You will see if the day before you ate a lot of animal protein, for example, or high protein sources, or a lot of grains, a lot of sugar, processed foods, fried foods. It's gonna be very acidic. If you eat one or two days before alkaline food, it's going to be more alkaline. So that's what we're going to work on. And the second tip is if you want to boost your alkaline levels, maybe you don't have the perfect diet, but you still want to eat alkaline foods. One of the best ways for me, especially when I'm traveling, I always have like a green juice powder with me, which I just put into water or if I have a smoothie maker, I'm going to make a smoothie with that. Organifi is one of my favorite ones or you can use barley grass juice powder from Bimaji. I'm going to link you all of that also down below and also in the shop. The things that I use and I love. If you like this video, now is the time to give me a thumbs up and I invite you to show your care for your friends and for your family by sharing this video to at least three people you love and them to be healthy. And this is a really easy way to fight against chronic diseases and bring out those mucus. So share the video with the five most alkal alkalining foods now.